You know, a, a long time ago, some guys in the industry were coming to Traverse City. Uh, they were having trouble uh, getting on the right charter boats, trying to catch fish. So they called my dad and they said, hey Bob, uh, here we are, we're in your hometown and we're not catching any fish, whose boat do we need to be on? And of course, my dad's not an idiot. He said, well, let me come down and show you. <laughs> and so, yeah, he weaseled his way into the group, right? He, uh, he was the second guy in the group and uh, you know, those guys just kept coming back year after year and then the golfing got added because those guys were golfers and then we had guys fishing and we had guys golfing and it's been going on for 46 years. There's so many golf stories, fishing stories, but when it all comes down, Tommy knows it's about relationship building. Can I trust you? And that's what an event like this does. Oh yeah, I, you know, I had heard about, you know, I didn't start in the industry till 85. And so, um, you know, the first 10 years or so, I'd go call on accounts and they always talked about, well, yeah, I need to support the coho guys. <laughs> <laughs> what is this about? <laughs> so it was something I felt is going on that I wasn't aware of and I needed to find out. So fortunately, when we started working with Barker in the late 90s, uh, they, they invited me up. And uh, it wasn't uh, many years after that, and we decided, you know, we're a Michigan-based company. We should, we should be a sponsor as well. So, so we wanted to chip in and do our part. And uh, it's, it's definitely been uh, well worth it for us. I don't know, uh, we never do a cost-benefits ratio analysis on it, but uh, it feels good and it's, it's fun to do. And, and we appreciate the relationships that, that we've earned through the participation in it. Oh! We make sure that all of our major warehouse distributors, key people are invited. You know, we, we've kind of had a nice opportunity to pick some dealers that, you know, play a big role in our in our customers' events, right? Right, so, right. Yeah, that's been kind of nice to connect those two together, because our WDs can spend time with their customers up here as well. Well, and we brought in industry people. We got our VIA here almost yeah, every right. year. We got Michigan RV Campground Association representative here. We've had... Uh, Don McGarry and Dan Holt from RV News always used to come. I mean, we, we keep uh, a wide wide swath of the industry people coming as well. And plus the retired people. You know what, and that's, I, I gotta be honest with you, that's one of the best parts of that. <laughs> I mean, to think about the fact that guys would retire from the industry, right, and then decide that they want to uh, to come up here for many years. What's nice about that element is it, it is representative because as you build the relationships, and it is about tradition. In 1996 is when I started with Tecancha, and I started in September of 96. Mm -hmm. And literally two weeks after I started, uh, Joan and Mark Gage and George Cargo said, hey, we need you to come up to Coho up to Traverse City. Mm -hmm. So that was my first year coming up to Coho, which, you know, green as green can be, didn't know anybody. And right. it was just this welcoming environment, right? It was a great way for a new person to come into the industry and meet people and build relationships. You never would, it would have taken me years to develop that, and it happened in one weekend. In business anymore, we don't slow down enough to keep that fresh in our minds of what's going on in the other guy's life too. What's going on in that guy's life? What's going on in your life? And, and keeping that fresh so that it's not just all about, well, we shipped that order on time and it was complete and I have skid tags and oh my gosh, look at our MRP system. Isn't this wonderful? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, all, there's always going to be that element to business, right? As the internet continues to grow in the fast paced nature of it. Yeah. There's a migration away, but there's there's always going to be that need to to have a personal relationship with individuals and understand what's going on in the company in order to keep things fresh and keep things moving in a positive direction. Hey, this event is so important to some people in their industries. We have a, a customer's ashes, a third of his ashes are buried under the 18th green at Interlochen because when he was having his health problems, he said to his brother, cremate me, Take a third of my ashes back to Traverse City. I want them on the 18th green. Tony will let you do it. And Tony did. Tony took a three cut down. The ashes went down. We all toasted to Paul. And uh, that's how important it is to some people to continue on with some traditions and keep things moving forward. <laughs>